Jay, everybody want to be a ball, but they look and see what we do and think it's easy. Man, mm-hmm. this stuff not easy, bro. I remember I was telling a guy uh, Friday when I was cutting. I was like, man, I grew up in a time, my first barbershop experience was in 2012. Mm-hmm. That's when I, I was cutting at the house before that, but I got in the shop in 2012. And back then, wasn't no appointments. A Saturday is going to either make yeah. or break your barber career. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody getting out your chair somebody and somebody else getting, getting in. in. And it's, it's packed. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those facts, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's like... That's the beauty of it, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't want if it if it's easy. But but think about it though. Think about it. If you got one coming out, one coming in, one coming out, mm-hmm. one coming in, and you you got to be consistent. That's These it. people are paying for a service that they expect to be perfect. Who want to pay for a haircut that don't look good? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> yeah, nobody want to nobody wanna pay for a best of haircut, period. Nah. So if you know that your barber is consistent, he precise, he, he know your head, he go blend it right every time, pay that man, bro. That's it. Pay that man. That's, that's all we ask you, you know what I'm saying? And his price is his price. You already know his price. Yeah. You know his I, price. If you've been, see, okay. Uh, I hate to put my I don't want to put my price out there Because you know My price changed Every Probably every year Every two years Whatever But you know um, If I do anything extra It's extra Period If I got to squeeze you in It's extra mm-hmm. if, if you ain't got no point You trying to come in It's extra I got my people Anything beyond it Is That's that's what it is hey, You know man. Like I said Louis Vuitton All these people They not They not apologizing and then the thing is, we are vital. Not we saying this in a humble spot. Oh yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? But you can have a pocket full of money. You can have the freshest outfit, freshest shoes. You're not going to the event without a haircut. And you flashing money. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Come I remember, on. <laughs> bro. I remember. I remember. Twin them. Shout out to Twin Stars. Like back when I was in high school, I was going to them, and they had next chair. Next chair was thirty dollars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that was back in like early two thousands. Speaking on that, you know how I many? It, it's crazy how time changed, bro. Because I remember when I was probably at fifteen, people say they'll never pay fifteen twenty dollars for a haircut. Remember that? Yeah, man. Man, that's that's high twenty dollars. $25 Man <laughs> You got a family I got a family I just We just recently Came from Lafayette mm-hmm. Went to Olive Garden Four people Be a hundred dollars mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Like it wasn't That ain't expensive to me But I'm just saying like mm-hmm. Every for Everywhere you go It's a price for something mm-hmm. And that No people ain't Taking their prices down Mm-mm. If anything The price is going up Oh uh, yeah And the service Wasn't even that It wasn't even that That good well, we are in inflation right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gas prices up, you know. And then what I want people to understand also, too, COVID, right? Yeah. We can speak on that. Yeah. Uh, I just recently had COVID, you know what I'm saying? You know, thank God it wasn't fatal, you know. But it made me realize, like, if you ain't got nothing going, passive income, you you basically over with. True. True. You know what I'm saying? If it take you down, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got nothing coming in. You got them bills don't stop. Yeah, they don't stop. At all. So, be, us being entrepreneurs, we have to make our money. You feel me? And, and some people, it ain't going through some people's head. They yeah. look at it like it's just a haircut. No, like, this is how we, it's, it's a trade. It's yeah. a service. You know what I'm saying? This is, we going to do as many as we can to make as much money as we can to be, to do what we got to do. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, that's just what it is, but uh, yeah, um, yeah, we we had, okay, COVID, we at risk every day. We in people's faces, we in the the kids, you know. Um, when it first hit, I didn't know what was what. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was gonna be the end of the world type stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, and people started calling you for a haircut, so you want me to? You want you me want to, to risk my yeah, life? You want yeah, facts. And I saw. Uh, <laughs> We saw I saw a dude on the news, Barbara in Mississippi was mm-hmm. going house to house. Mm-hmm. Man died, bro. <sighs> Trying to risk his life for a haircut, bro. It, it really was serious. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
And at the end of the day, like, I speak on that too. So, like, when COVID hit, I had just got a contract with the VA mm -hmm. cut, cutting uh, the veterans. Mm -hmm. And I was telling the lady, I was like, you know what I'm saying? That was before COVID even came, you know, came out really. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, it's an honor to be here to cut these veterans and stuff like that. And so fast forward a couple months later, when it got bad, the lady was calling me and she was like, well, you told me it was all about the veterans. I say, ma'am, look, it is all about the veterans, but if something happens to me, mm -hmm. how, how, how am I going to take care of the veterans? I have to take care of myself first. You know what I mean? I said, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty selfish. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I can't put myself at risk. And I learned that being a fireman, it, that's just status quo. You got to protect yourself before I, if I, if I hurt myself, how am I going to help you? But people, people don't, like you said, at the end of the day, man, a lot of people really don't care what you got going on. They just want what they want. Mm -hmm. And that's not, that's not, that's the world we living in, man. Just think about it, bro. The word selfie. Bro, some, those some, some, people, some people, some people had, all about self. some people had COVID, right? Yeah. And, and they still didn't care. They want, if they want a haircut, they want a haircut. They don't care if you bring it to your little child and, and something happens to your child. Yeah. Or your mom or your dad or whoever, who, you, you know. It, and then we don't, you can't tell who got it. No. Yep. So just imagine how many, so if, if when COVID hit and you're doing your normal thing, you got all these people. Sorry about that. It's all right. He, uh, he was going, uh, on yeah. the GoPro, but we, we good. Uh yeah man it's just it, it's a lot bro um it's a lot bro with 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 COVID you know I was really concerned about that by my family and starting back up you know um very cautious about everything every every little thing triggered me and, and it kind of threw my game off a little bit but I kind of like if you take a long time out from barbering right you kind of got to get back in your groove. Yep. You know, some mm -hmm. people don't understand that. They just expect you just, just go, go. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, um, but me, I had to get in the groove. Once I get in the groove, then I'm good to go. You know. But uh, when, when COVID hit, I was worried about anything. The kids sneeze. I'm like, hold up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, like you know. But uh, yeah, man, it's just a process. I just, I just do the best I can. You know, all I can do is pray and. You know, just thank God for everything, That's really. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm very thankful. Firm believer in God, you yeah. know, so without him I wouldn't I wouldn't be nothing really, you know. That's what I that's why I stand there too, man. Like a lot 